this is a net video uh, after our CISO video uh, that continues to SIPO in this video we're going to cover on SIPO which is serial in parallel out so how your uh, serial in parallel out look like you're going to have like a box there you need to check your uh, previous slide or notes serial in it will be in and it will be having the parallel out there it will be out so because of this it's slightly different with your serial in serial out seesaw last time which is if you have a seesaw you have only one output at each clock trigger if you have clock one then will be only one output clock two it will be one output but through uh, uh not one outputs means uh one bit output okay per uh, time by time uh, but if you have parallel all output you can see here all output is going to be measured okay that is the different okay see so output only at q3 so you only measure at the q3 output but for c for parallel is going to be all from q3 q2 q1 and q0 that the first um differentiations that you need to know between CISO and CIPO okay that the bit are uh, enter serially one bit at one time which is similar with your CISO last time but for the output it's going to be parallel so all bits are available simultaneously after like clock one clock two three four and etc for n bit of sipo let's say you have uh one two three, four bit here in this example you have four bit so you're going to have uh total up how many cycle uh, let's say you have like uh, four cycle uh, then all cycle you're going to have all bits <coughs> okay all bits uh, after this we're going to look into the example but this is how the block diagram mm, block yeah block diagram for you to refer it as c pole and Mm, okay this is uh, the example of the block diagram you can see here serial in and parallel out okay next okay here is the example for example here uh, show the states stages of 4 bit C pole shift register uh, it's called as SRG serial register for for the data input 0110 0, 0, 1, 0. Uh, and it asks you it's mentioned here MSB shifted first okay so you have the knowledge now this will be shift in first and clock wave which is your clock the register initially all is one huh this is another keyword for you to remember so everything's here at the beginning or initially is going to be one 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 uh for q0 q1 q2 q3 so if you still remember that you're going to have like this kind of table but at the initial part you're going to have one 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 because you have four bit here this one is not it. okay next go back to this sepo here 
uh, of course for serial in because you have four bit you're going to have four uh, clock there one two three four to fit in every single um data input there so first clock is going to be uh, shift this one uh, zero and then second is going to uh, come in one there and then third will be this one and fourth uh, cycle clock is going to be zero so you can see here first initially everything is one 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 okay then first clock this is initial first clock it will be zero will be fit in to your first clock you're going to have four flip flop first flip flop which is your f f zero right f f zero you're going to fit in with zero then you can see d your q will always follow your input d then you get zero here the rest will be one 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 remain the same as the initial uh, value so that's why a cycle one you have zero one 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 why this is zero because your msp your msp value first is zero so a clock uh, second clock clock number two this will be shifted to here this will be shifted to here this will be shifted to here and this one will be move up oh sorry this will be move up here so at the second clock it's going to be this input to be fit in here so here will be one now that's why you can see clock number two you have one zero one one but every cycle you're going to have all this value last time after you finish the cycle then at your q3 at each like q1 what is your q3 value at q uh, cycle two what is your q3 value but for each cycle now all is listed so this cycle one output will be zero one 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 cycle two one zero one one cycle three is going to shift it right so it's going to shift it to the right and this cycle this three will be fitted here so it's going to be this and lastly this one is going to be fit into your flip-flop zero and the others will be shifted to the right okay so how about the uh, timing diagram so for the timing diagram you have similar but now uh, last time you just uh, need to look into uh, one output per one output but here you can see okay you have uh, cycle one two three four so uh, the data in first uh, first data in is going to be zero so this will be your first data in at first clock so what will happen this will be one uh sorry this one is initial is initial is one and then when you have meet the uh, the positive clock here it's going to be follow your input it will be zero the others will be remain the same one 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 for cycle clock two you're going to refer to here but this zero you can see you're going to move and shift it to this to the q1 for clock uh clock one so it shifted to here and now you can see uh the input for the q0 will be one that's why it follow one there 
the others will be remain one one because it is only until here level first so next after you have cycle meet the cycle number three cycle number three going to refer to here it is one for q0 okay but the previous one here will be shifted to your um, q1 and this value for q1 will be shifted to your q2 okay that is and then lastly your clock number four the input is zero that's why your q0 will be follow which is zero while for your q1 it will be uh, shifted from your q0 uh, for your q2 it will be shifted from your q1 and lastly for your q3 it will be taking from your q2 shifted so that's why you will get lastly zero one one zero show the stat show the stages of six bit c pole shift register six oh now you have six and of course you're going to have six uh flip flop six flip flop you're going to have q0 q1 q2 q3 q4 and q5 all together for the data input and the clock wave here and the register initially all zero huh it's already mentioned everything is zero and msb will enter first so msb shifted first so here will be uh, your table so initial is going to be zero 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 first is mentioned it's going to be msp so first clock only first flip-flop will be effect so first flip-flop is going to take the value here it's going to be zero the rest also remain as zero 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 why it is not affected because uh, it is only for cycle second cycle what will happen this value will be shifted to the next flip-flop one okay and the second value digit here bit here sorry bit uh, it will be putting at this flip-flop zero so here will be one this is a value of zero 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 the rest is still remain the same okay next you are going to meet your cycle number three cycle number three what will happen this value will be fit into your flip-flop zero it will be one how about the value of your flip-flop one is going to take from your flip-flop zero one and then your flip-flop two what will happen is going to take from your flip-flop one zero and the others will be remain the same zero 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 okay next a uh, flip-flop number four this value will be fit in here zero and how about your flip-flop one will be taking this value flip-flop two will be taking flip-flop one value flip-flop three will take in the value from flip-flop two zero and the rest here will be similar next you have uh, the fifth one fifth uh fifth bits going to take here the value will be zero and for your flip-flop one it will grab from flip-flop zero flip-flop two will be grabbed from your flip-flop one and flip-flop three will be taken from your flip-flop two and flip-flop four will be taken from your flip-flop three this value will be remain the same now last value is going to be one so it take here and this value will be here this will be here uh, 
then it will be here this will be here and finish so that is in terms of how you're going to determine your table so this is the shift in so you need to know how it's going to be shift up but for the shift up it's going to be everything in this every cycle there because you're going to have every cycle uh, having all these five bit output and because of this this is the shift uh, in value So until clock number six, generate the table, generate a table from the data shifting up. Okay, this one is shifting out. Uh, is it similar with our one zero? Yes. Okay, this one is your shift in, but you're going to have another like similar to your seesaw. Where is your seesaw? example you can see you going to have also uh, shifted out this one is okay this one is shift in and this is shift out so similar also it will be happen to your C po now the un uh, the example here is ask you to find out the table for the shift out this one is shift in okay after you already fit in everything here, you're going to have another 6 time clock, which is altogether 12. So, uh, for you to going to get for a shift up, or here it will be parallel up. Where is it? Okay, generate a table for the data shift up. So, you need to come up with your own table. This is the shift in, I believe, yes. So at this part, you're going to see uh, here is your clock 1, clock 2, 3 and until 6. Uh, initially, you have 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. This timing diagram is for your uh, shift in. So how about your shift out? So shift out is also similar, but it's going to come up one by one. If you, uh, it is not showing here I think let me check yes it's not showing here if you still remember at your seesaw please make sure you refer back if you don't understand uh, refer the video for seesaw here is example of uh, shift out at clock number 5 here but the example there is going to be uh, clock 7 8 9, 10, 11, and 12. So after you have all the value for the last digit, this is your initial value, which is similar to 101101, one, one, I guess, for the example, that's 9.3. Eh? Mm. Okay, then you're going to have another clock, which is clock number 7. And what will happen is you're going to shift up you take everything here shift up first value what you're going to have and that it will shift and then what will happen it's going to shift and etc you can see okay let me give you an example here okay oh we am going to draw okay now you have uh one zero zero one one zero if let's say for your uh parallel up seven here what is the value so you're going to shift it first to the right to the right and everything so let's say you shift it to the right you're going to have uh <coughs> zero one zero zero one one okay this is your uh parallel out value and then you have another eight there you're going to 
shift again you're going to shift again and then you're going to have uh, 0 0 1 0 oh, 0 1 and continues okay so that is on the parallel up so you're going to have like until 12 ta 12 tables so that is the difference you can see here at the beginning please make sure you remember for C so our put is only at Q3 but for C4 it's going to be half all now you can see here for your Q C so C so out C so out C so shift out okay here so everything you will be taking into the output of your flip flop this this is the flip flop at the beginning uh, at the end but for the out you're going to have all there if out is going to be all that q1 q0 q2 q3 okay so that is the only difference okay now that is on c po please try to generate your own table so there is another example here but this time is eight bits because it's at bit you're going to have eight flip-flop all together isn't it and parallel out so it's going to be look like this and what will happen input can be a or b we're going to have input whether a or b which is it is serial in input you have uh zero 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 it can be together like that because you have four bits uh, that's why it look uh, like this clear is active low clear all output to zero 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 data enter a or b will appear at q0 of course because this is will be your uh, flip-flop zero the data will appear at q7 after add clock pulse yes after you already finish uh, uh, until you meet the eight uh, clock pulse you're going to get all uh, digit. Let's say you have one one zero zero one one two four six zero one. Let's say so after you finish all the bit here, then you will reach at your last flip flop, which is Q seven. A valid parallel data only appear at all output after at clock cycle yes after all then you're going to have your output there uh, is it similar okay this is just example for you to understand how CPO look like here determine how many bit enter the seesaw okay this is seesaw uh, this is not SIPO. Uh, before we go to this example, I want you to understand about SIPO. Please make sure you understand. Okay, it's going to be serial in and parallel out like this. Okay, now we have a size here. How many a bit enter? So, uh, you need to see how many bits. It's going to be one, two, three, four, five all together. Circle on the timing diagram with the valid output. Diagram the valid output. Determine the data enter. Assume MSP shifted in first. So you can see in the equation is already I uh, give you. Determine the data enter. So might be can we look into okay. This will be like this. You have all together five cycle. Of course, it's going to be five bits. And 
and initially everything is zero 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 if depending uh, if you uh, refer to this time in diagram everything is starting from zero 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 so first one you're going to have msp shift first so it will be one here i can see it will be one so my msp will be one so this msp if a cycle number two it will be shifted to here okay and the rest will be still remain the same for cycle number two so for cycle number two my q0 is still remain one here i can see so it will be one also and this value will be moved to the next value okay this will be shift to here and this value will be shift to this the rest will be still remain the same first zero zero at the cycle number three my value of q0 is zero so it will be zero there so this will uh, value will be uh, shifted uh, to this and this value will be shifted to here and this value will be shifted to this okay now i add in the uh, clock number four i have one so it will be one there and if i meet a uh, cycle number five this will be shifted to here this will be one uh this value will be shifted here it will be zero this value will be shifted to this it will be one and lastly it will be one there and this is my output there last output it will be zero so this is the data enter for your uh seesaw about the cycle on the timing diagram valid output this is your valid output there one one zero one zero okay so that is the process <laughs> this is answer and lastly one one zero one zero you have here one one zero one zero might be if let's say it's shift uh uh lsb first let's say it is lsb first um okay let's say assume it is lsp so what will be your answer one one zero one zero so your answer will be one one zero one zero so this will be the bits that enter if it is a lsp so that is the only like difference so if you understand then you can easily answer it Another example here, based on the data, enter. Uh, wait a. Okay, now as exercise 9.2, based on the data enter uh, exercise 9.2 just now, we have 101010. 11010. 11010. 11010. Okay. Uh, redraw the timing diagram, sorry. Uh, with LSB shift in first. Allah. <laughs> I already done it okay mm, but oh okay this one is if this example if given redraw data enter redraw the timing okay now you're going to feed this first right so it easy i think zero one zero one zero one uh, 
So this is my Q0. Uh, if I directly can know, okay, this will be my um, data in. But if you don't understand, it can go one by one. So it will be shifted. Everything it will be shifted. Here will be uh, 0, 1, 0, 1. Correct? And yeah, I think it's correct. It will be 1, 1 here. Um, then here will be did, 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 did. this. Okay. And lastly, I hope my answer is correct. Uh, zero, one, and lastly, it will be zero. Yeah. So my answer will be uh, one, one, zero, one, zero. Here will be zero. One zero one one. This LS, uh, LSB uh, fit in first, and the value you can see here. So it is ugly there. Okay, yeah, it's similar with mine. And circle the timing diagram value output, of course, at this part. Determine which output of Q or flip flop hold the LSP bit at clock 5. Huh? Determine which output Q or flip flop hold the LSP bit at clock 5. Okay, this is clock 5. Output hold the LSP. Okay, the LSP will be <laughs> 0. <laughs> yes, that will be your LSP. Okay, there is exercise uh, 9.3. You can try to do it. Uh, it is similar. It is not too hard. Okay. So, I think for the, this uh, video, I'm going to stop until here. Later on, after this, I'm going to continue with PISO and lastly, uh, our PIPO. So, I don't want to drag too long in one video because it's going too hard for you later on if I directly continue. Uh, yeah. Okay, thank you for watching. Uh, stay safe, study smart. Meet you again. Bye bye.